Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. One man versus Louisville six months later. Let's have some beef jerky this morning. I'm not sure we have enough of it, but try and try and not waste it. I'm actually going to hold on to a couple of pieces of it, too. Um, so there's. I was looking at the map around the area a little bit before the stream. Oh, cigarette time. Before the stream, before the before I started recording this video, and there's a couple of uh, high-ish value targets not that far from us, oh, including the gas station that I was hoping to find. Um, I don't gas stations have significantly less chance of having gas cans than they used to, but um, I'm gonna roll the dice on it, and see if we can get lucky. It's just across the parking lot, <laughs> literally on the other side of the parking lot. There's a gas station, so we're gonna go over there and check it out. Get out the bow and arrow. There's still some cars we haven't looked at either as, well, as we pass. This one. Watch the, the car that I find that actually has gas, in, that functions as gas and as a sports car like this. Yeah, like that, for instance. <laughs> I've already read that. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind for later. The joke there is that there's an empty gas. I swear this this is like the best beginning of a series that I've done in forever. <laughs> Getting everything that I want. Um, I'm not the best driver in this game, and sports cars drive fast, and are thus fairly dangerous. So <laughs> that's why I was worried about it being a sports car. They're also not super uh, gas efficient. This car looks like it's in really good shape. So yeah, so there's the gas station right there. Oh, hello. Yep, yeah, there's the winner right there. And another gas can. Okay. I think this shopping center also has some interesting things in it. Can't really remember though. Getting lucky with these shots. Some zombie has something on his back over there. Can't tell what it is from here. It's like a some sort of small axe. That arrow broke. Alright, um push. Excuse me. my arrows back before we deal with the next group of zombies. <laughs> We've been getting lucky with these, a lot of these slow shamblers. We're gonna get a hit with like a group of a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of sprinters all together and that's gonna be bad news. A battle axe. Okay. That's from Antique Armory. That that percentage chance of finding that is very low. The um, the percentage chances on the stuff from that mod sharpened screwdriver. Probably not worth it, but I'll hold on to it. Um, our set is like super low, so that was a that was another low percentage uh, get that I'm surprised to see. It's early on in the game. But that seems to be the way that things are going <laughs> in this game. <laughs> oh, there's a sprinter. I don't know if he's coming towards me or not, but let's be ready. Oh, there's an alarm going off in the distance. So he's probably going to that.
And now we see why I set it so that zombies can set off on alarms. So we get fun interactions like this, where a whole bunch of zombies are moving from one place to another. I now have to deal with. This is making my life a little bit harder, because <laughs> I wanted to get into this gas station, which didn't look like it was going to be that much of an issue until now. So the two main things that we're missing at this point that we that would uh, kind of complete the like basic loot that we need is a sledgehammer um, and a generator. If we get those two things, we're good to go for uh, for at least all the basic loot. There's specialty stuff, especially stuff from the mods that I don't even know what I need for it yet. I still need most of the metalworking tools. I don't have the mask or the... Um, whoa, that was facing the wrong way! Spun around there. I don't have the mask or any welding torches yet. Which limits our ability to do basically any of the scrap... Scrap metal challenge stuff. Or scrap uh, armors and weapons and whatnot. I know I can't change it now, I don't think, but I feel like the, the there's too many slow shamblers. This truck's looking like it's in pretty good shape too. Little Max Phoenix Hill. I don't know what part of the city that is, but check it. I'll check it in a minute when I'm sure I'm not about to get jumped. All right, where's Phoenix Hill? Over there. Okay, good to know. something up. What do we get? Spears level one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I should just eat some of this stuff since we're uh, still trying to put on the pounds. What do we at? Oh, 76. No, we're good. <laughs> so I got through that a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Uh, give me all of the Louisville maps. I'll read them later. Actually, you know what? Just give me all the maps. We'll sort them out later. Might as well, might as well get them while we're here.
It's a crawler. Yeah, you're never gonna be able to get in here, bud. Hey, more beef jerky, just what we need. I mean, you guys saw the setup. My loot is supposed to be set pretty rare. I don't understand why there seems to be just so much stuff. Cigarettes? Yeah, cigarettes. All right, so once we have a once we have a generator, this place will be an important spot. But we don't currently have a generator, so it is not that much of an important spot. Let's go over to the next building. I think the next building has I can't remember what it was. There was something in it that I saw on the map that made it look like it was a valuable target. But it was now. Fork leveled up. What'd you get? Refined garden fork of ruggedness. You got a gun. That zombie's got a gun. Oh, I saw the sprinter. Here he comes. Look out, look out! Okay. Oh. Don't know the proper way to deal with sprinters. I'll figure it out though, hopefully before I die. Okay, so this is something. Is this a... Looks like a gun store. That, that's probably what I was thinking of. There's a gun store in here. Move yourself moving. It's got a furniture store, and I guess this is a restaurant of some kind. Lucky that guy was not a crawler or a sprinter. Could have potentially been in some trouble if that guy was a sprinter. This is a restaurant. Oh, sorry. Is somebody in the bathroom? Do you need the key? No, oh, nobody's in there. There's a back door to that gun store, but I'm not sure if it's going to be blocked like the other side. I don't know. We'll go take a look. Oh yeah, it's blocked, just like the other side. Okay, so that's, that is inaccessible unless we get a uh, yeah, radio station. Unless we get a um, sledgehammer. Which hopefully we'll find eventually. Hello, Crawler. Do you get, feel sad? Crawler, do you ever feel sad to get left behind by everybody else? You're just doing your own thing and nobody ever cares. All right, we got our new car. 
is very exciting. I will probably destroy it pretty quickly, because that's what I do with cars. I kind of want to try to get this trailer, but it's in a sort of awkward place. So if I kind of... If I hit it with like this... There we go. Actually worked better than I thought it would. Stop. Well, I should have turned the car off. Siphon gasoline, no? Can I turn the... Can I turn my things back on, please? Alright, it looks like maybe I'm not quite as close to it as I thought I was. a zombie making noise. Oh, it's a crawler inside the laundromat. Not an issue. Can't get out. Hello, random amount of food that's suddenly in the back of this car. Okay. Not expecting that. Are there other things in this car? Why is there so much food in the back? Oh, it actually has a little bit of gas. I should siphon that. Anybody else coming? Oh. Gotta max to max until we get a generator that lets us actually like get stuff out of the gas station. We gotta be very cognizant of the gas that's available to us. Hi, zombie. Actually, kind of annoyed that I had to run you over. This car right here. It appears to be cigarette time. Hello, zombie. Welcome to my mall. Hang on, I'm smoking a cigarette. Give me a second. All right. All right. What if anything was in the back? Nothing useful. Okay. I get some planks and start defending the front here. I feel like it might also be a decent idea to build some like barricade walls just to subdivide the mall up a little bit so you don't have zombies showing up in weird places. All right, I'm going through the going through the maps now. I don't know if I wonder if any of these will be in the over here where we are. So we'll find out in a minute. So if I eat all this jerky, this beef jerky, does that make me a jerky boy? All right, so map wise this is all that this is now all that we've managed to fill in by finding maps. We got March Ridge, we got Rosewood, we got Eckhorn, we got R Riverside, we got Moldra and Train Station and Dixie. I like that there's just a tiny gap in between them. We got West Point, we got Valley Station, not the mall, not the other mall area, but big sections of Louisville. Not the one over here though. It's not by us. Uh oh, that sounds close. Um, I slept later than I really wanted to, but I, that's because I stayed up later than I wanted to, because I was trying to finish this book, which we did. Alright, so give me some... Quick, let's have some sardines. We'll, we'll eat a different random meat. And then we'll go see where this noise is coming from, see if we can find it. Is it below us? Somebody at the door? Hmm. Are we up to day four? 
Alright, I should probably um, get the radio. Be prepared for the first helicopter. I don't know where this that hel that one was making noises. Let's be back here somewhere. Oh, not there. Oh, there you are. Where you wandered in from? Not just from outside, it looks like. Alright, the next high value target that I want to visit is, is across the street, over that way, is a uh, video cassette store. Cold this morning. I get a four. Oh, is that sprinting? Buzz sprinting. Love getting levels and sprinting. <clears throat> that sounded sarcastic. I meant it sincerely. Yeah. So in the back of this this shopping center here, over like there, there's a a uh, cassette store. That sounded like it broke. Oh no, it didn't break. It's stuck in the zombie. Oh no, it did break. <laughs> go with go with your gut, my friends. I'm gonna have to start thinking about making some more uh, arrows soon. Breaking quite a few of them. Behind me? Yes. I don't care about that store. Don't care about this store except for the possibility of cigarettes, but we're good on cigarettes right now. There's a lot of zombies in that construction site. We're moving kind of quickly. Okay, um, yeah, that's, uh, there's more zombies than I thought were gonna be over here. That's where that sound came from. I heard the window break, but I didn't know where it was coming from. There's a zombie in the, in there that's a sprinter. I saw him, uh, shift positions and he moved a little faster than your standard zombie would. That's a fun problem we might have to deal with if he decides to come outside. God, the zombies, the zombies feel, even at insane levels, which is what these are at, the zombies feel so sparse right now. <laughs> After that last playthrough. Hey. I know I'm well geared, which helps, but... But compared to literal thousands of zombies in your face at all times, this is, uh... This feels pretty easy. Keg explosion, we could potentially get a Molotov going. If that's something we want. Hot vids is my target, though. crawler in there. <laughs> a lot of trouble getting out. Can I get you through the window? No. Okay. Alright, 
All right, this is going to be a situation where I'm going to just have to try and take what I can. Hopefully get the things that I need. Lots of dancing shows. Learn all the all the dances. Show it off to our zombie friends. The broken door in the back makes me a little uncomfortable. But it is what it is. I actually kind of don't like the all the dancing cassettes because it is taking up spawn points for the use the other somewhat more useful cassettes. Now there's a few things that give skill ups that are named weird things, and I don't know what they are. Yeah, I know what some of them are. I don't know what they all are. Coming in the back, huh? When you have a book. That's a special zombie of some variety. Brick Buster t-shirt. Oh, it's, it's this place. VHS Retail? That seems, uh... Different. Alright, let's look in the back real quick. Oof, this is actually bigger back here than I thought. Um, Alright, so we've, we've checked this place out, which ended up with a lot of cassettes. Not sure how much of it is super useful. Some of it is, some of it isn't. What are the other places? Windows, which I think is just a furniture store, right? That's oh, literally windows. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, explosion we don't need to go into right now. I suppose I could but dip my head in and just grab like one or two molotov. Like, oh, hello, uh, sprinter. Paintbrush. Uh, one or two. What is the word I'm looking for? Whiskey bottles? Bourbon bottles? Whatever there. The, the hard alcohol that you make Molotov cocktails out of. Can't mind why I can't. Bourbon, there you go. There, I'll take two bourbon bottles. I don't know, I'm not intending to do any burning anytime soon, but it gives us the option. I don't need all the beer. I can go to sleep on my own just fine, thank you very much. All right, I'm going to stop here. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am, as always, a criminal archer, and I'll see you next time.